Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Well, recently Android O was released pretty much on Monday, so as usual, I'll be going through how to update your rooted or modded Nexus 6P from, I guess, even the third developer preview, but you should have gotten that as a OTA update if you're enrolled in the Android beta program. Otherwise, if you're on Nougat and you're still waiting, and as I don't think the images are final either, there will be maybe a little bit of a change, but I guess we can get to our kind of like a release candidate version of Android O flashed onto our Nexus 6P here. And I'll be showing you how to do this using Fastboot, as uh, I think we should cover this a little bit more, and we'll go into kind of manually flashing it as well. So we're going to be using Magisk to root this phone, as it already works with Android O, and I think since we are accustomed to using Magisk as our super user management, so uh, we're going to be using that. And to get started, uh, let's, let's go right ahead to our computer. So of course there are things that we need to download and get and set up. First up is the platform tools, so this is just ADB and Fastboot. These programs are used to communicate with our device between our device and computer which is what we need. I do have videos here setting it up so you can kind of use it any way you like, especially on Windows. You can probably do the same for Mac OS and Ubuntu um, by making, a, I think, a shortcut or moving the files to the bin directory, or user bin. Um, but I don't actually talk about that in those videos. But for Windows, I do show you how to add it to the environment variable, or the path environment variable. So you can use ADB and Fastboot any way you like. These are optional. If you don't want to set it up on your computer, that's fine. Uh, there's another way to do it, and that is to download the SDK Platform Tools standalone zip file. And you just click on one of these links here, depending on whether you're on uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. I think most of these do require a 64-bit operating system now, at least the ones for the Mac and Linux um, distributions. So we're going to download the Windows one, or whichever one is right for your computer. And last but not least, you'll also want to download the Android 8.0 system image. Now these are labeled OPR 6.17. And these are the same ones, I believe, that are being uploaded to the Android open source project, like, re, uh, source repo. And we're going to download the one for the Nexus 6P, just like that, and agree, and hit this blue button to download it. I've already downloaded it, so um, that's that. So you should have these three files here. Well, I lied. You also want to download the latest version of Magisk, and that, of course, is obtainable through a link in the more info down below. Now I'll have all these linked out, and of course you will just scroll down to the download section and then download the latest Magisk zip file here. So you should have three files, or two if you're setting up the platform tools, so that is again ADB and Fastboot using my way shown in these videos. Uh, if not, it doesn't matter, you'll have three files. But anyway, the point is that you'll need to use Fastboot for this. So for those downloaded the platform tools zip file from the Google's developer website, we're going to open that up first open up the platform tools folder and you want to extract these five or six files so we need the first ADB file, this exe here we need the two DLLs underneath it they both correlate with ADB, you can see there next up we need the fastboot exe and of course the libwin pthread-1 DLL now I'm not sure if the ADB ones are actually necessary but um, we'll just extract those anyway so that's it, our five files that we need Next up, uh, we'll copy Magisk to our phone, and that is also very important to have. Of course, we can use ADB to push it, and um, you know what? I'll show you how to do that, just to spice things up a little bit. And last but not least, we have our factory image. So next up, we'll open up our factory image, navigate to this folder, and since the bootloader and radio need to be updated, we'll extract both of those. And we'll also head over to the image zip file here, the one that I've selected. We're going to open that. and. We could use the flash all bat, but I think uh, we'll just go through each of the files here instead. So what we want to do is extract the boot image, the system image, and the vendor image, just like that. Now until that update command, we can select which partitions or images to flash. I think I'll probably still recommend doing it this way. Otherwise, you'll just need to have the TWRP image handy and flash that afterwards. But we won't be doing that, so that'll be alright. So we'll just let that copy over. It won't be a moment. There we are and we can close our factory image and zip file. Now here we should have these files, our vendor image, our system image, radio and bootloader images, our boot image, and of course our platform tools files, so that's just ADB, Fastboot, and their own DLLs, and of course our Magisk zip file. So we need to reboot our phone into the bootloader. Now I'm going to do this using the button method, otherwise you can rev up ADB and type in the commands ADB reboot bootloader, 
spaces in between each word. Otherwise, we'll head over to our device again. I right, just uh, quickly shift over. Of course, you want to unlock your device, and then you want to hold down the power button and power off. Now, at this point, you want to unplug your USB cable, just so your phone doesn't start up again and show the battery screen. Now, from here, you want to hold the power and volume down buttons at the same time until you get into the bootloader, which looks like this. Now, if this doesn't work, try letting go and trying again. And make sure you're holding the right buttons as well. There you go. Sometimes it might take a couple tries. Here where you want to plug in your USB cable as well. Now we're in the bootloader. Make sure everything looks right. We are going to flash our images. So heading back to our computer, we'll need to open up a command prompt window to this directory where our ADB files are and fastboot files, so platform tools files. Now to do this on Windows 10's creators update, you want to go to the address bar here like I've selected and type in CMD and that will open up a command prompt window into this directory. Now I'm just going to make the font bigger I believe because that might be a little too small. There we are. Or if you're using an older version of Windows you can hold shift and right click on an empty space and select the open command window here and that will do the same thing. So once you have a command prompt window changed to where the files are we can get ahead and start flashing the bootloader. So the command is fastboot flash bootloader. Usually there are spaces in between all of the words here. Leave a space on the end like so, and we'll drag in our bootloader image onto the command prompt window and hit enter. Now after the bootloader has been flashed, we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader. So we're going to type in fastboot flash, I mean sorry, fastboot reboot dash bootloader, like so. And once our phone is back into the bootloader, we'll give it a sec here, we can now flash the radio and subsequently the rest of the images. So I'm going to type in fastboot flash radio, leave a space on the end here, drag in our radio image. Next up we're going to flash the boot image. So I'm going to type in fastboot flash boot, leave a space on the end and drag the boot image in. Next up we're going to flash the system image, so same thing, fastboot flash system, leave a space in the end, drag in our system image. Now this might take a while, you can see it's going to send them in little sparse packages, up to 5, and this will roughly maybe take close to 30 seconds to a minute, depending on, guess, on your computer, and uh, I'm just going to fast forward this until we finish and then we can go ahead and flash the rest of the images. Alrighty, so we're finished flashing our files here. It took about 74 seconds, so just over a minute. And we're going to flash our vendor image, which is lucky last. So we can type in the commands quite similarly. Type in fastboot, flash vendor, with a V. Drag the vendor image in and bam. Okay, that's done now. We're going to reboot into TWRP. So I'm going to type in, actually not type in anything. We're going to go over to our device here and use the buttons to navigate down to recovery mode in red and then press the power button to boot into the recovery. So this is TWRP. Uh, you'll note that TWRP 3.1.1.0 should work just fine with Android O, at least through my testing. Very limited testing, I should say. And of course you need to decrypt your data partition if necessary. So this is just your password, passcode, or um, pattern. And for the system partition, we're going to swipe to allow modifications. We can go into the install menu, scroll down, and you'll see the magisk zip file just laying there. And then we can swipe to confirm, confirm flash. Um, obviously there are other ways to do this. You could also sideload the magisk zip file or you could just go to this PC and copy it like you would normally and flash it but hey I just thought I'd show you something else so I'm going to tap on reboot system here and our phone will reboot into the delicious goodness of Android Oreo and we'll see that it's rooted and it should pass safety net and we'll take a look at all the wacky new things we can see in Oreo I think most of it's kind of under the hood sort of stuff we have our password autofill API built into the system now. We have stuff for, I guess, 
or background notifications. I forgot what they were called. Things like um, if you got things running in the background, you always or you always see like it in the notification shade now, which is kind of annoying. They've uh, bleached the whole system now; it's all white. And you know what? Sometimes it looks quite nice. Sometimes I don't think it fits. Kind of like in the settings or in the notification area, really. Uh, but everything else is uh, quite cool. And my personal take on the new Android O or Oreo emojis, uh, I'm not liking them too much. I really prefer the ones on Android N and before the little blobs, quite likable blobs. So our phone is almost booted up, or oh, it is. Now let's take a look. So we're finishing the Android update. We can go in, our hideous adaptive icons are all square now. Never fear, you can change that with a custom launcher. Unfortunately, if you wanted to use the Google Now launcher, so this is what it's running currently, you can't change it from within here for now. So I'd recommend that you download a different launcher like, I guess, Nova even, with the Google Now add-in page, the little add-on for it. And or if you want to try out Launcher, I do have a video on that. So you can go check that out as well. Launcher is a very nice customizable pixel launcher with the Google Now page as well. So that'll probably, you know, uh, spark your interest there. So let's check out if we're rooted still. I'm going to cross my fingers. Uh, yes, we are. Let's uh, check out our safety net status. Now we are gold. So here I'm just going to go over, you can see our new notification shade here. Head over to our settings. We kind of have conflicting color schemes here. We've got this green and blue. And we'll go over to the system. You can see we are updated to Android 8.0. Now if we check for updates, it won't say any, but I believe there is a small update for those who are on the beta program. So if I go to about phone, we can see we're on the 8.0 and we are o on OPR6. Now you'll probably get the final OTA um, for the one they release after this. So that would be the actual factory images that you can see on our usual factory image landing page rather than the Android developers page. And we can see the little octopus, I think. Hmm, fun. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Why, don't, why is it so dark? And um, that is how you update your rooted or modded Nexus 6P to the latest and greatest version of Android, Android Oreo. Now I guess this is a little footnote for those using like the Pixel mod or something like that. Of course you'll have to wait for someone to update it to work on Android O. It's probably not a very good idea to flash the ones that are meant for NuGet on to the to Android Oreo. So yeah, just wait for them to make it for Android Oreo based off its new system UI APKs and all that kind of good stuff. So you should keep an eye on that as well. So that's it for this video guys. If you want to hang out or chat or whatever, you can find me on Discord and also on Google+, but I'm probably more prone to checking Discord rather than Google+, so all the links are down below. You can find me up, find me on Twitter, and you can also leave a comment here. So I do have some videos ready to be kind of released. I just gotta finish typing up the rest of the script and all that, so maybe we'll expect to see at least one other video quite soon. Get down here. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.